evaluate where you are. Look at it, assess yourself. Assess yourself and assess the situation. What brought you there? What has brought you to this point? What did you learn from it? Are you learning anything or are you doing it over and over and over again? Somebody said that insanity is doing the same thing in the same way, expecting a different outcome. Don't let this year be like last. And if last year was great, still don't let it be that way. Raise the standard. If your life is perfect and extraordinary, you darn well know you're not going to be happy unless you keep making it better. That's what makes us feel alive. It's not what we get that makes us happy. It's who we become and what we're able to give because we become more. If you want to begin to move, you've got to clear your mind of all the unnecessary luggage and baggage that's weighing us down. You're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go and move so you can grow, so you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is what are you going to do about it? If there's anything that will shift your life, that will get you to thrive in a difficult situation, is take some massive action. Try something else. Change it, try it, move it. Progress equals happiness. If you can start to make progress, if you can get yourself going, even if it's not perfect, if it doesn't work, you know what to do. Just change your approach. If that doesn't work, change your approach. So often in life, people don't begin the journey because they're not quite sure what to do or how to do it right or how to do it perfect. You want to change your body? Get yourself moving. Don't wait for the perfect trainer. Just go out here and move. Put on your shoes and move and get momentum. I'm going to turn this situation around. I'm not going to sit back and, and moan and cry over what happened and what went wrong and who did what. I'm going to do something about this situation. The other thing is take full responsibility for your life. Accept where you are and the responsibility that you're going to take yourself where you want to go. Someone said we have two primary choices in life. We can either accept conditions as they exist or we can take the responsibility to change them. See, a lot of people want to exempt themselves from taking responsibility. All they want to do is talk about the problem. Every time you see them, they'll tell you their story over and over and over and over again. No, no. You want to take responsibility for your life. I got me here, I can get me out of this. And I'm getting out. I'm not going to be a volunteer victim. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. And there's still some things that will happen to you that will catch you on the blind side that you did not anticipate. You'll get knocked down, but you won't be knocked out. And so I say to you, it's possible you can live your dream if it's becoming a diamond, if it's having more, it's achieving more, it's being a better father, being a better mother, whatever it is, overcoming addiction, changing our society. It's possible you can live your dream. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, and you work with the system, that you work with people, that you give support, and that you be there for them, that you have the vision and never give it up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again, and that it's you that you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen, and that it's hard, easy is not an option, and when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over, I'm